Hey everyone, welcome to Exiled. I discovered Itch.io has a YouTube channel, which I didn't know, and they do videos of like, these are the most downloaded games. And this was one of them on it. And I was like, oh, this looks interesting. It's like decoding, deciphering things. And I was like, oh. And to sell us on the game completely, it said it's kind of like going for vibes like Mist and The Room, which we both absolutely love. So, my beloved be Charlotte. My wife of 14 years. She's always had a magnetic attraction to areas of study so unexplored that she, by default, becomes the foremost expert. I never know what draws her in so strongly to such niche research, but I support her as best as I can. Perhaps I should not have. I was very worried for a second when he said my wife of 14 years. I was like, 14 years old? But <laughs> The last months I've seen her desk covered by a dusty tome of eldritch beings. Oh? Where she found such a book, I didn't know. But the sudden appearance of an artifact like this is common for her, so I paid no attention. Well, I, I paid no attention until the day when Charlotte was suddenly missing. Mm. A note left in her place. It only read, I will have been banished to the ancient realm. It is for the best. My own wife? No, no, I, I could not stand for her to be gone without a trace. Banished to the ancient realm? I needed to understand. I started to scour her notes. I found scrawled handwriting talking of incoming destruction and the banishment sacrifice. As unsettling as they were, they only served to confuse me more. My search yielded two clues. One was a torn scrap of paper with untranslated runes. The other was the location of where she had found the ancient tome, the Great Library. With nothing else to do, I, I took the book and the paper and traveled to the Great Library myself. I hoped to use the tome to translate the scrap and use its secrets to find more answers in the library. Mm -hmm. What I found there, I will never forget. Ooh. Okay. Eldritch, I like it. I am banished. My wife. My wife. What does it say on that clock? Yota Trihu? Oh. Oh. Sven? Interesting. Got some eldritch symbols over there. Okay. Oh, and this is the runes? So one of these correlates... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. So we're trying to decipher that message. Eldritch beings. Compiled for the study and protection against the ancient terrors. I was looking at these. That's why it took me a moment. There's two at the end here. Could be an E or an L. There's my first clue. I should jot that down. Oh, like this is A? Wait, wait, wait. Draw a line from A. Okay, so... Arrow with a slash through it. This one? Oh, look at that. This must be the... <laughs> Could try. No, 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 no. No! Can't do it. Okay. Um, is that the right one? I think so. Cthulhu! The dark being. Feared by all, Cthulhu causes the subconscious feelings of anxiety felt by generation to generation. Oh, so that's why I have anxiety. Thanks, Cthulhu. <laughs> he currently slumbers in the ancient realm, although it is... Thought he could return someday. I can read it fine, and then sometimes a word is just like, huh? His name mm -hmm, was lengthened when translated by old English scribes, adding hul in the middle to visually describe his prominence in the ancient texts. Ew, oh, yeah, it's no taking time. So, how do you spell Cthulhu? K T K K S A T H A. For some reason, I can't spell in English properly, so I always revert to Dutch. 
So Hulf is taken out. Okay, so that in the middle. So that leaves C, T, and U. Cthulhu. C, T, U. There we go. Let's note those down. C is this thing. T is this one. I think. Yeah. And then you are so beautiful. Cthulhu. This little prawn guy. Oh, I thought it's gonna say account, but that can't be it because then we'd have two C's. The. Very well. Looks like we're on the right track. Wait, did I read everything? Yeah. It lurks here. If it's close, look at it. Oh no. Look at it. Is this shadow? Oh, it's the crystal lantern. The eye of Nyala. Oh, Nyala Sothep. Ah. A servant that carries out duties in Nyarlathotep's absence. It is a being that stays in the shadows whose goal is to see the return of its master. Master. It will stalk towards any creature slowly and quietly if it knows that Nyarlathotep's return is being threatened. If it is seen when closing in on its goal, whatever that be, it seems to retreat. Okay, I don't see any symbols. The rat mass! Yes! The mass of rats! <laughs> a bunch of rats stuck together with glue! Mentioned only once in the ancient text. Horrific for no reason as much as simply being sort of gross. The writer describes it as being no shape and all shapes. No order but all beauty. Beauty? A sight of true horror and magnificence. The true definition of a... Hmm... One can construct a red mass at home with the proper supplies. Apply glue liberally. <laughs> okay, I'll jot down those symbols. We know the second one, that's A. And then two of those. This is like when I learned unitology for Dead Space. Jesus Christ! Holy fuck! Dude, I didn't even see him! What? Where did he come from? It looks like he took something. What? Did he take my letters? No. Oh, he took the box! Jesus Christ, that scared me. I can't read this. Go gank? <laughs> a pillar of melting flesh sprouting from the earth. This lantern shadow scare me. Uh, appeared only once before being quickly banished by the blah, 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 blah. The earthquake it caused in its short time on earth brought many civilizations to their knees, causing a large rift between those affected and the few nations who were not. It has no known way to be resummoned. Okay. I did not hear that guy approach at all. Three forty. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I need to read it first. Hounds of Tindalos. <laughs> not quite hound, and not quite. Being, the hounds are thought to be too horrific to describe. Then they are a being that exists only in time and manifests through, through space to follow its prey. It is said that the hounds are not the only object to exist in time and that even words themselves can be communicated through the realm that the hounds inhabit. Oh. Something is definitely skittering about. 340? S D N A E M S. How many letters is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, the other word was eight characters. And the other one we don't have was four, so. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
as eight. So it can't be that. The Nofke or something? Can't read it. Four armed creatures. It's a C, isn't it? Ktch. That live in the deepest, coldest parts of the earth, notably Antarctica and high in the mountains. They often live alone, although have been recorded to come together under certain dire circumstances. Most famously when the Nofke vanished themselves, securing humanity's future for the planet. Hey! Eldritch devices. That's D. A little arrow with a circle through it. I haven't seen that in the ones I've noted down, so. Clock of Tindalos. Yeah, Tindalos again. Ooh. The artifact's stolen from time itself. The clock displays different messages caught in time depending on where its hands lay. The messages it shows are never ordered, instead appearing as a string of letters to be sorted out by those who, that observe them. It's rumored that adjusting its hands creates altogether new connections from time to space. The messages are never ordered, appearing as a string of letters to be sorted out by those that observe them. So maybe we have to reorder the names. I'm so bad at reordering letters though. Sansme. Sansen. M A D N E S S. Madness. But how am I gonna use that? Madness. Taken from the depths of the ocean, this box contains a secret known to only the ones that hid it. Ancient texts describe the way to open it has been thrown into the streams of time to keep its secrets safe from the eldritch monsters. Tradition holds that the box can be opened through the use of a single word, although many have tried and been unable. Madness. Okay. The board. I keep checking if there's no one <laughs> behind. Used for banishment and summoning of creatures from the ancient realm to the human realm and back. The Eldritch board was developed as a way to dispel the ancient horrors. Combinations used to conduct these acts have been slowly lost over time, although scraps of combinations written in the ancient alphabet still exist. Okay. B. Looks like a swastika. Sorry. Star spawn of Cthulhu. <laughs> Look at those. It's like sassy legs. An elder civilization. These beings seem to be made neither of matter or energy. A handful of scripts exist. Yeah, detailing encounters with a star spawn, changing from its own to a different shape and back again, possibly even into non creature forms. It is unclear what connection they share with Cthulhu except adorant worshippers. Is this is this a T? Sas Sas Sasogwa? Sogwa slumbers in the ancient realm, oozing small toads out of it out of its pores. It is recorded that these smaller toads either explode after a few moments or cross the dimension dimensionary path to the human realm, where they will take the form of a wild bear and then explode. Toad bear? The chunks of these toad bears yeah, <laughs> can be reassembled to make clever gifts for parties or other get-togethers? Excuse me? Ooh, shogos. Blob-like beings that can envelop creature and non-creature alike. The shogos possess incredible speed and immense cold, but slow and become puddle-like in warmth. Oh. Early manuscripts seemed to view Shoggoth as harmless creatures, sometimes even shortening their name and adding an I at the end, as was common in the ancient language to show endearment. Oh, little Shoggothy. Oh, wait. If this is an I, then this might be an I? S-H-O-G-G-I. That one? Oh, and this one. This is the one we needed. So H is the blocky one. S H O 
Okay. Shaggy antenna. That looks good. Those might the Oh, we have this one as well. Uh this one. Oh, oh that's nice. This might be M. Let me go back in the book. Um the true definition of a ASS. The mass of rats. Maybe it's an M? I think that's a good guess. Let's see. Summon? Summoning? Yeah, has to be. Shoggoth. Shoggy! Rubber ducky! <laughs> Smart. Eldritch duck! <laughs> ducky has become an eldritch being somehow and is just living it up. Instead of bringing terror to everyone, Ducky has used his eldritch powers to make sure that everyone has a really nice day and insists that you take a break to eat a sandwich. Ducky would also like you to know that means quack. <laughs> and that last one is K, the umbrella. This one. Okay. Which letters don't I have yet? E, F, I, J. Oh, still quite a bit. Okay, let's keep reading. The Ran Tegoth or Rule. A big bug god. Ran Tegoth decided to slumber under the ocean near Australia, which is unfortunate because it also drowned. Ran Tegoth is the biggest, deadest bug in the whole wide world. An excerpt. That is decomposing. Large chunks of his body can be found on a regular basis floating on the shores of the Indian Ocean. Nobody has dared to snack upon his flesh. Hmm. I don't think we have any of these characters. Oh! Ducky! <laughs> Ducky in the background. Rule is decomposing. Maybe it's R U L. R. Oh no, we have U. So can't forget. The bugs started as a handful of bugs that were found in a small village. One by one, more bugs collected in the center, forming a larger and larger mound that only continued to grow. So this is F. To avoid the eventual takeover of the world, the bugs were contained in a lead bucket with a lid. Nobody knows what horrors would be found were the bugs to be exposed. Infested. <coughs> Could this have been written by Charlotte? Ooh, by Narlathotha themselves? Causer of the seat and confusion, the largest eldritch threat to humanity. It is common for Nyarlathotep to infest the body of a human and control them for its own motives. Where Nyarlathotep is at the moment is unknown. However, it is taken s if it has taken someone as its host, banishment of that individual to an ancient realm is the only way to stop it from shrouding our consciousness in its eventual darkness. Maybe she... Banished herself. It's the last page. Okay. So I'm missing E, I, J, uh, L, N, P. Are still missing quite a lot. X, Y, Z. Oh my god. I'm missing a ton still, but we can probably figure some of this out. Let's go back to the page with the big word. Oh, here. This one. 
appears only once before quickly banished by the... Let's see if I have any creatures. Um, just what this, actually. Can I read this now? A. Unknown. K, I think, is the umbrella, right? Yeah. Reverse E. Unknown. Unknown. SS. Darkness. Uh, then N, E. Okay, reverse E and this guy. Um. Oh! I connected it to the wrong one. Did I have this one already? Shit, did I lose it? I might have lost the letter. Resummoning. Uh, from the ancient realm. Begin... Oh yeah, I didn't have an eye yet. Okay, let's look at this other one. If that's darkness, then... Um, and it ends on an S. What's that first one? I don't think I have that one, do I? This one, no. So, line. I don't think I have that one either, nope. Unknown, unknown. Reverse E, which was N. Then the little antenna, which is G. Um, this one, E. And then that thing. Did I get that one? R? Dangers? No. Couldn't be, because that's not a D. See if I can logic it out. So we have I, J, L, P, V, W, X, Y, Z. So it has to be an I. Fingers? Lingers. Darkness lingers. Uh, if it is, okay, let's try the L, the I first, because we have a good chance that that one's correct. Ancient, yes. Okay, so then my other theory is that this is an L, which is this one. Middle realm, definitely. Okay, so darkness lingers. Wait, I mean, let me see if that other, um, this one, if we can get further in that one now. Uh, reverse E, N. Then that one is O. We still don't have this one. Then we have the H, the K. And we now also have the E. So it's a G, N, O, something H, K, E, H. Appeared only once before being quickly banished by the... Okay, I wonder if there's a monster in here that starts with G-N-O. This one. G-N-O-P-H. That's it. So that's a P. Oh, oops. This one. Upper. Yep. Okay, mystery solved. This one, something is decomposing. Let's see how far we can get with that one. This one, we still don't have. Um, we have some of it though, I think. This one, L. And the first one is this one. So just doodle, but we have the U and it's not in. Oh, maybe it's a Y. Maybe I'm misreading it. It must be a Y. Um, this one. Oh, we're so close. Which ones am I missing? Resummoning a loved one from the ancient realm. Begin with the middle four. 
press the top two corners, then press those right beneath. Mark the lowest row, same or save the rightmost, which will be last pressed. The sides remaining, and then those in the upper row, press the final node. Okay, W. Which are our options? These are all done. This one. Yep. <laughs> Good guess. <laughs> Trying to find the V. Nope. There it is. Loved. So I'm missing a couple letters, but it's we have enough to read the note. Okay. So Resummoning a loved one. Begin with the middle four. Which middle? Like this middle? That middle? These? Press the top two corners, then press those right beneath. Mark the lowest row. Save the right most, which will be last. Press the sides remaining, and then those in the upper row. Probably doing it wrong. Press the top two corners, then press those right beneath. Mark the lowest row. Save the rightmost, which will be last. Press the sides remaining. And then those in the upper row. That's it! Uh-oh. Bit by bit, I saw Charlotte materialize in front of me. With each moment, I felt my heart lighten. But as her face came into view, my lungs froze. Charlotte's eyes were dead. No, not dead. They were empty. Something was horribly wrong. One sec. Cleaning up my notes. With a crack, Charlotte's jaw snapped backwards, her mouth swinging open in a fully unnatural motion. A guttural noise emanated from her throat. Slowly, her hands grabbed the sides of her mouth and pulled outward, tearing a gaping hole in her face. Bit by bit, a dark creature crawled out of her head. Charlotte's body fell to the floor, limp. Stock still, I could only stare as the creature looked me over. Then, in a cracking voice, it spoke. Have you released me from that human prison on purpose, little one? Or were you expecting someone else to appear in my place? I realized that the creature that addressed me was Nilathotep, the monster Charlotte had banished herself to entrap. Himself? Wow. With a cry, I tried to hide my face, but it was no use. Nilathotep grabbed me with one hand and cast me into the ancient realm. The world was cast into darkness as eldritch beings flooded over human civilization. <laughs> I had brought about the new reign of the ancient gods. Oh, Jesus. I missed something. I sure did. Restart with full journal. Ooh, that's very nice. So this box, madness. Maybe we need to spell out madness. Uh, okay. Gotta be quick about it before the dude comes. Uh, M. A. D. N. E. S. S. If you are reading this, a loved one has been infested with the soul of Nyarlathotep and banished to the ancient realm. 
This has traditionally been a hopeless loss of someone special. However, I have done much research of the ancient text and believe I have found something important that I must hide, so it cannot be undone by the evil beings. Bringing your loved one back can be done with the use of the Eldritch Board. Doing so will also bring the soul of Nyarlathotep with them, and the world will fall into chaos. However, where the where the first and last steps of the board sequence switched, I have reason to believe this will split the souls apart and bring your loved one back without the darkness. Okay. I pray you use this information with immense caution as if I'm wrong. Humanity as we know it will cease. Cool. Okay. So I have to switch the first and last. First and last steps of the board sequence. Okay. Let me see. So what I did, the first and last step. So it says begin with the middle four, press the top two corners. Okay, the middle four, the last step then now. And this last one is then the first one. Okay. Um, then press those right beneath. I forgot what I did already. Middle four, press the top two, press those right beneath. Mark the lowest row. Save the rightmost. So now we do this. Press the sides remaining. Uh, then those in the upper row. That wasn't it. Okay, wait. I see what I did wrong. Okay, so start here. Two top corners, then underneath. Mark the lowest row. Press the sides remaining. Then those in the upper row. There! I reversed it! Bit by bit, I saw Charlotte materialize in front of me. She fell down, coughing a plaque sludge onto the floor. I picked her up and ran outside the library. She continued to cough, but less and less material came out of her lungs. After many minutes, she stopped altogether. Slowly, she lifted her head, and I looked into her eyes with a wave of relief. I saw my wife looking back at me. She was pale, starving, and exhausted, but she was whole. Together, we slowly made our way to the closest town. I purchased a room for the night at a small inn. While I sat pondering what had taken place that evening, Charlotte collapsed into bed and slept peacefully. All was right. <laughs> Ending two of two. Yay, Charlotte is safe. Awesome. Oh, that was so fun. A little bit of decoding, a little bit of detective work. Awesome. That was really, really fun. Like, right up my alley. Love these kind of games. I love decoding, stuff like that. And I figured out the madness bit. Oh, I hope you guys like that. It's on Steam, it's on show. If you want to share it with someone, if you think someone would like it, definitely do. And that's it. If you liked it, definitely leave the video a like as well. Um, and thanks for watching. <laughs>